Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be unboxing and what to expect video for the Samsung Fit E. Now this is the new uh, budget oriented Samsung fitness band. This is one of the cheapest ones. Actually, this is the cheapest uh, band they've uh, come out with. So let's go ahead and see what all can you find in this. Now there's not going to be a, there's not going to be a color screen kind of a thing. Uh, it's a regular uh, smart band which has a lot of features. So let's go ahead, open it up and then see what all can we expect from this. Okay, so that's the band. Let's keep that aside. We'll be checking that later on. Let's see the accessories. Okay, so that's the charging cradle. And then you have your booklet. Your paperwork. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the band itself. Now this complete thing, I don't know whether it's glass or plastic, but it's a different design altogether. Now the bulge is quite noticeable. The bulge over here for the uh, heart rate monitor is quite noticeable. Now, I think this is the way I think you should be putting the, okay, so that's how you charge it. Let me just get a power bank. Okay, so let's connect it to a power bank and see, maybe it's not charged. Okay, so that's how it switches on. Now there are no switches, no buttons, no nothing on this. Uh, the screen is pretty small, actually it's that small. So in comparison to other bands, this is a very small screen, but it's a different one. Normally you will see screens going up this way or going this way, like in the MI bands this way. So this one is in the middle and it's quite wide. So hopefully the display is going to be good. So we'll be checking that later on. Let me use it for a day and then I'll be giving you my uh, initial impression, what to expect from this and then we'll be doing further tests later on. So I'll be seeing you after one day. Okay, so I used it for one day. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about what to expect from this band. Now, first of all, let's start with the software. So what do you need to use this uh, use this band? Basically, you will need uh, one software which will actually uh, detect the band and control the band. That's the Galaxy Wear app. So you'll have to install this. Now, uh, in this, you have to have two more software, the plugin and the accessory, Samsung accessory. So basically, there are three software just for the band to get detected and the plugins to uh, make it work then to get the data out of it you'll have to install the samsung fit app so there are total uh, sorry samsung health app so you'll have to have total four apps installed so normally i don't like that kind of a thing because that's the same thing that uh, huawei had before where they had two separate apps huawei uh, wear app and then their huawei health now over here also you have like for two separate apps, one to control the device and then second one to show the information. Ideally, it should have been just one. So I don't know why is that, but uh, that's the case with this. So let's look at the software. Now this is the software itself. Now you can add tiles. Now you can manage items over here. So these are all the options that you will get. So you'll have your regular step count, which you cannot remove. Then you'll have your regular floor climbed exercise options and all these kind of options. Now, there are some options which are there, but they will not work with the band, uh, like glucose, blood, plush, uh, blood pressure, uh, your weight, weight management, uh, all these things, uh, the water, caffeine, all these things are not data taken from here. Uh, most of them are manually put in by you. Uh, stress detection, it cannot do that. If you want to do that, you'll have to use a Samsung phone with a heart rate monitor and which supports stress and all. So we'll be talking about all of that later on. So it does give you all the options, uh, just that uh, the band will not give you all of it. So let's see what the band can give you. So let's go into the Galaxy Wear app. So let's connect. Okay, so it's connected. So right now I am at 21% battery. So I've been using it from yesterday continuously. Now you see Samsung Health over here. So when you press that, it'll directly take you there. Now you have health settings. So basically it'll give you three options, notifications, on or off, uh, step target so I keep it as 10,000 and then workout detection so if you have this workout detection on then it will automatically try to detect your exercise now in exercise it will only detect running and walking and then if you have any dynamic workout so uh, dynamic workout we'll be discussing later on in my later videos I'll have to explain more so basically these are the three options that you'll find over here then you get alarm so that's self-explanatory you can put an alarm so whenever the alarm time is this will start vibrating 
and then you have weather so you can uh, choose the weather you have three options here the unit uh, celsius or fahrenheit uh, auto refresh in how long like uh, normally by default it's at six hours you can change that to uh, every hour to 24 hours now then you have your current location or you can uh, choose the location over here whichever location you want then you have find my band so if you press that then the band will start vibrating and then you can find it notification now uh, the notifications are on uh, over here so you uh, now it will give you the option to choose what all you want to put as notification and you'll get everything over here so that's one good thing you don't uh, normally in most of the bands you get a few options this gives you all of it so uh, so the things which don't even need notifications uh, even they are shown over here so that's a good thing uh, okay so now uh, you have other options like show while using the phone so if you're using the phone should I uh, show notification and show uh, turn on screen so when you get a notification you want the screen to turn on so if you keep that off then you will get a vibration but it the it, nothing will be shown on the screen okay now you have widgets so you can put the widgets uh, these are the widgets that are going to be shown over here so uh, by default the heart rate one is not selected the calendar is not selected they are both at the bottom so you'll have to add them so i've added all of them right now so let's see what all options are available so you have steps calories heart rate sleep weather and calendar so those are the only options you do not have a plus sign over here to add more widgets so that's something which is maybe later on they will put it or uh, it's there on the other bands so uh, next is vibration so do you want the band to vibrate or not so you have a setting for that and then you have the advanced one so uh, you want the screen wake uh, now there are two options lift the wrist or double tap if not just use both so I kept it as both so it works pretty good now you have do not disturb and dim screen so I put the dim screen to uh, start at 10 p.m. and then I'll go off at 6 a.m. if you want uh, you can just turn it on whatever time you can set it uh, you can change the control over here now that's basically it after that you have your account and backup so you can actually back up your samsung account over here and then about the band and about galaxy wear so that's it that's basically what you see over here then you have the watch faces so you uh, you have total of six watch faces so right now this is the watch face i can change it to this 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 so whichever you like now generally I keep the big ones so this one so it's more uh, readable while you're outside so okay so let's take a look at the band itself now let's start with the strap now this this has a unique strap so none of the other bands have this kind of a strap so basically what you have to do is you put this in from here and then make it go through this side and then you have to adjust to your hands length uh, hands circumference and then you just press this down like that and that's it now it does look like i mean because this is uh, a two-piece thing so i'm a little afraid that this might break uh, because uh, this is plastic rest everything is uh, uh, rubber and then i mean too many moving parts but i don't know we'll have to use it for some time only then we'll know whether this is going to be strong or not now let's take this out let me show you the band properly now this is completely made of plastic a uh, little bit of glass used over here and then over here now it feels like plastic to me it doesn't feel like glass but i don't know we'll come to know that uh, about that later on now uh, one thing with this band is uh, there's no button so everything is a tap sensor so basically you'll have to tap for everything now i've noticed that the tap doesn't work every time when it's off uh, like when the screen is idle when you can't see anything you tap in the first uh, tap it doesn't respond now you see it didn't respond so it takes me two three taps for it to work so i don't know whether it's just with my band or uh, it's a generic problem but uh, everything is smooth once it runs okay so now let's talk about something unique that this band has now this band has continuous heart rate monitor and the sensor only runs when you're wearing it now now you see the sensor is not running there's no green light that you can see now as soon as i wear it the sensor automatically switches on so let me just try showing you that fast okay i think you should have seen the green light okay let me keep that for a while and then okay so you may have seen the green light so the green light automatically comes up the heart rate monitor is continuous so uh, what this does is now a lot of people have been asking me for bands which have 
continuous heart rate monitor because they want to monitor their entire day's heart rate and uh, see it in a graph. This one helps you in doing that. None of the other uh, will do that. You have those options on more expensive ones like the Fitbits. You have those options, but you do not have that in the other band. Let me just show you that data first. Now, if you go into the heart rate option, now it shows me my average for the day. Now, I'll go into trends and now I'll see my hour wise heart data. So uh, this is every hour. So I just used it for one day. So this is my entire one day's heart rate. Now let me just choose one of them. Now you see I get a complete graph over here. So the graph shows, uh, um, now you'll see over here it says 64 is the minimum, 73 is the average and the highest was 113. Let me show something else, uh, maybe a lower one, okay, 68, 78, 93. Now the good thing is even while I'm sleeping it detects my heart rate. So let me just go here. So, okay. So I'm sleeping over here. Uh, 1 31 a.m. to 2 29 a.m. I'm sleeping. So this is my sleeping heart rate. So that's something which I really liked. Now, a lot of people have been asking for this. So uh, this video, especially for them, in case uh, you have, uh, 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 you want to monitor your heartbeat, uh, in case you have parents or, or relatives who you want to uh, give this to who are not well, who have heart condition. So this will help you in monitoring it. This will not do any uh, any thing for them. You, you can just use this to monitor their heart rate so you can know that when does their heart rate spike. So that's a unique option that's there and you get this all for uh, below 3000 rupees. So that's an excellent option. Okay, the second uh, unique thing that this one has is the exercise option. Now this one has a lot of exercise options. So you have swimming, you have running, you have jumping, you have biking, you have hiking, you have everything that you can think about. Now that's not a feature of the band itself, that's a feature of the Samsung Health app. Now uh, basically a tracker, like if you're doing an exercise, basically what it needs is the heart rate data and your uh, accelerometer data which will show the moment, how, how, how many steps, how many whatever. So it just needs those two data from here. So with that it can uh, calculate everything over here. So that's a good option in case you're looking for an all-rounder band which can monitor all the exercises You can go for this now. I'll be testing it with the swimming one I don't know how the swimming one is going to be how will it show the lap and stuff So that's what I want to test so I'll be testing it with the various exercises and we'll be talking about that later on in my further videos so that's basically it i won't talk too much about it uh, i just used it for one day so after a week or so i'll make a second video where i'll be giving you in-depth information about this so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye